So this is a walkthrough of the complete PV system for the Seed Eco Home. Right here we're on the roof of our 1400 square foot structure, 12 panels, 3000 watts total. And the wiring then goes into the house. This is just exterior wire. All the panels go individually down to the control system. Inside the house, this is how all the lines enter. A little junction box and then to the control panel. And here we go to our panel. So let's look at this. So all the 12 individual wires go into a little junction box. And from the junction box, we have three DC breakers. That's um, after four panels are connected to each one, four, four, and four for 12 total. But if you notice this, these are very inexpensive DC breakers. On the back, you see a 3D printed DIN rail. So from the panels, we go down to the lower part of the cabinet here. So here's three of our charge controllers, 40 amp each. So they're fed directly by the solar panels here. From then on, we're, we're charging our battery bank, which is below. Let's go down there. The control panel allows us to run both AC and DC loads. So let's look inside. Open up our case here and the batteries are at the bottom. So this is just 12 simple motorcycle batteries are uh, $25 each. And this side here is, we're wired at 24 volts. So that's where the charge controllers take us to. From the batteries, we have more breakers and we have our bus bar here that then goes to the inverter on a second floor. We have both 12 and 24 volt loads. While the batteries are 24, we're converting that down to 12 using this little little DC to DC converter and then we're going up this is our bank of 12 volt loads so mainly lights and other places where we have outlets that are wired at 12 volts DC we just have some remote control lights here like this is a remote control light and a safety a little smoke alarm here but essentially we've got 12 volts on the top side 24 volts on the other side now here when we go to the Inverted, this is 5,000 watts here that we have pure sine wave. These are very inexpensive these days. And from the inverter, the power feeds in the back and out the front, we've got our 120 volt power coming out. And that is that that goes then to the main breaker panel. Breaker panel here. So this looks like just like any house with all the breakers for all the utilities. In this entire system, we're getting away with a very small battery bank of just 12. 12 batteries, motorcycle batteries, and we'll see if it works for us long term, whether we have to go to deep cycle, but it was a very inexpensive way to do it. The strategy is do all the heavy loads during the daytime with 3000 watts, that's plenty for a lot of loads, including washer and dryer electric ones, and then do the absolute minimum at night. In order to design a low cost PV system, part of the trick is to keep the battery bank as small as possible. For that, you have to be very efficient. So that's where a super refrigerate, super efficient refrigerator like this comes in. It uses about eight watts on average compared to a hundred watts on average for a regular fridge. The way you do that is it's a vertically top opening as opposed to uh, basically side opening like that, like the normal fridge. So you retain a lot of the energy when you open it. And what we do here is uh, use a freezer to refrigerator conversion using a mi microcontroller using the Arduino so that you're converting a freezer which has very thick insulation so it's really good thermally you're converting that by just cycling it turning it on and off throughout the day so you're not going to freezing you're just getting it to be cool like a refrigerator we're looking inside this is what we see we've got uh, a lot of space here temperature about 45. Here's the probe that actually measures the temperature. That probe goes to a controller, which is outside. This is just plugs into 120 volts regular, but the controller is inside. It's in the Arduino. Um, it's called the Mount Best Freezer to Fridge Conversion. You can look that up. That's all open source here. So you can get this very high performance refrigerator at a fraction of the cost here. And also we have a, a regular freezer here. It's just a small freezer and that's stocked but the deal is here, we run this only from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that's another way that uh, you can save on energy during the night so you don't have to have a big battery bank. Idea being, 
during the daytime we've got plenty of power and this retains its cool you don't have to keep it on during the night for it to remain below zero so that's uh, freezer and fridge which are some of the main loads in a typical household those are solved by super efficiency and turning them off at night if you want to run with literally like no battery bank in the limit we have a battery bank that's about a thousand watt hours very small uh, also very inexpensive it's about three hundred dollars for that battery bank to get away with what we need to do for the overall system and the system cost it's unbeatable it's overall we spent about three thousand dollars detailed bill of materials is in a post below so thanks for watching I'll have more updates soon